the last 20 or 30 years, the notions of assessment of education have become narrower and narrower, and uh, we're trying to reverse that. It's only a small part of schooling that actually is captured by how well students learn arithmetic, grammar, and rudiments. But the other aspects of feeling and thinking, what I'm calling character skills, was, were complete, have been ignored. And many people are surprised by how low the uh, predictability is of IQ for things like earnings and hourly wage rates. The grade point average is actually more predictive. The reason is, is that the grade point average is heavily dominated, not just by raw intelligence, but also by motivation, by the desire to learn, by achievement. So things that are typically viewed as non-cognitive skills. So character skills are, I would claim, a missing ingredient that we're only beginning to really discover. But if we think about all tests, all inventories are measures of how people do on a particular performance. An IQ test is just another task. The average IQ for the black in the U.S. population is one standard deviation lower than that of the white. Children, all African American, in poverty neighborhoods were given the IQ test under two different conditions. One was for each correct answer they got an M&M. For the other, it was a standard incentive. And then it turned out that the black-white test score gap more or less vanished on that particular administration of the IQ test. Suppose that I give something like the M&M tests, but I measure something like conscientiousness. And if you look at conscientiousness, what you find is that the elasticity of response, say, to, to an M&M, &M, is completely contingent on how conscientious and how motivated the students are. The motivated students weren't at all incentivized by the M&Ms, they were highly conscientious students. But the ones who were less conscientious and less motivated in that sense were highly responsive. And so there's a, there is an interaction through using uh, richer inventories of student behavior. I think we'll come together to create a much better understanding of what the human traits are that matter and a deeper understanding of the evaluation.